Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah and if you're returning, it is lovely to see you again. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be organising my bookshelves. Plural, bookshelves, I should say. Not just one anymore. I now have a corner bookshelf. So exciting. I am so excited to put all my books on here and actually have the room to do it. So in this video, what I'll be doing is I've got a few boxes of books in here at the moment. Not all my books. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly put them on the shelves as I go. And then I'll kind of sort through them and move them as I go. So I don't necessarily think I'll be talking whilst putting them on the shelves. I will just time lapse it for you guys. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I feel like it's going to be very hectic. As much as I'm excited for this, I'm also very nervous because I feel like it is very difficult to put all your books in one spot. So let's just get into it. I'm going to start over here. I've got three bags of books plus two boxes. I have another two boxes behind the tripod and two bags that you can't see as well. Did I mention that? Oh yeah, three bags, sorry, and another container. I have a problem is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully they're alright. They've been locked in storage for about a month, so I'm just hoping they're okay. That's actually so good. So we have the first ones to come out is the Throne of Glass <gasps> series. My crescent books are a bit strange. That is not all of them. Got Empire of Storm, Tower of Dawn, Assassin's Blade, Queen of Sh Okay, a bit destroyed. I have on my desk. What am I missing? There's an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing one. Where is the other one? I feel like I was over... I remember being overly ambitious when I was like, how many books I can finish. So I like kept more out than I would have actually gotten to. So let me check. We'll just keep an eye out for now. So I'll just put them in order at the moment. We're in a glass, crown of midnight. And then we have air of fire, which for some reason I don't have. Queen of shadow, empire of storm, tower of dawn, and then kingdom of ash. So... I have the first series in front of me which you actually cannot see, but it is there. And then the next one I have, oh I kept all my Sarah J Mass books together. So we also have my Crescent City books, these ones, and we also have my Akita. Jack is currently reading A Court of Mist and Fury, currently as in he hasn't picked it up in months, but he's asked me to keep the bookmark in it. So I have kindly done that for him. Is it annoying me? Yes. Then I've got kind of like two random books that I just kept together. Not random, just kind of general. So I have a poetry book, which I just loved the look of. It was in a secondhand store. I just loved the cover of it. It's just gorgeous. And then this is from my mum. She got it for me one year and it's just really, really beautiful. All these different like kind of words of wisdom, which is really nice. I do look through it here and there. I think it's just lovely. It's kind of like a way of having her with me, even though she's not with me. So it's really nice. And then my favorite series of all time. Things We Never Got Over, Things We Have From Light, Things We Left Behind is currently with my nan. She's reading that one. We have Sally Hepworth, both Sally Hepworth books. I think I've got two others, but I don't know where they are at the moment. We also have Jessa Hastings, The Great Undoing, Daisy Hates, and like Parks. I have The Long Way Home up on my shelf already. Where's the other one? I'm missing one. And then I have Malibu Rising, Where the Crawdads Sing. I'm kind of just giving you a tour of all my books at this point. I'm going to be smart and break things down as I go. Next book, destroyed and moulding a little bit, which is concerning to me. I don't know why I've done that. Oh, my coffee shop of Kabul book. Kind of destroyed. We have the little coffee shop of Kabul and then we have the return to the little coffee shop of Kabul. Finished this one, haven't finished this one yet. Surprise, surprise. This one, haven't finished this one yet. I do want to read it. I think there's a third one that's come out as well, which is really nice. Daisy Jones in the six. In front of me at the moment, I'm just making piles. So like I have a pile of Sarah J Mass books. I have a pile of Taylor Jenkins Reid, like separating them into series, but also author. So obviously I have multiple series of some authors and not of others. Just kind of seeing what I have. We have The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. So we have The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I have Wildfire. Apologies if you can hear the siren. We live near a fire station and it is summer in Australia. So we are currently in the midst of a dry season so the combination is just phenomenal we had seven husbands of evelyn hugo we have the unhoneymooners by christina lauren we have before the coffee gets cold we have the last anniversary by leanne moriarty and then we kind of are now getting into my entire colleen hoover collection i have quite a few colleen hoover books 
And as I've mentioned previously, Colleen Hoover for me got me back into reading. I've read since I could remember, but it's kind of gotten me back into reading. I don't think I... There's a few books that I haven't read of hers that I do own physically. Will I ever go around to them? Maybe. Sometimes I do want to pick up one of her books because they're just so easy to read. But I'm also not stressed if I don't, but I do want to keep my collection because I do appreciate the fact that they got me back into reading, particularly in lockdown. Then we have Three Wishes by Leanne Moriarty. So I've read both of Leanne Moriarty's books that I own. I adore them. I love her writing. She's an Australian author. I'm just someone a little bit different. I do own more of her books that I haven't read yet, but I want to collect the colourful covers. She's just come out with all white, which for someone who likes unison that would be beautiful but because i've started collecting the colorful ones i want to collect the colorful ones and for me i'm very lucky that a lot of secondhand stores own her books um so i can just go in and get them when i want to so that's all colin hoover i'm going to make sure they're all colin hoover and not other books but they should all be yeah so i'm going to leave colin hoover in the box i may even just put her on the bottom shelf somewhere but at the moment i'm trying to just figure out in my head what I want and then I also have the flat share by Beth O'Leary. This and It Ends With Us were the two books that got me back into reading but this probably if I read it again I wouldn't have given it a five stars. I remember giving it five stars but I remember I just was obsessed with this book so I love this book and will never get rid of it ever. So then we have a lot of Jack's books so I'll just put them to the side. I don't know what happened to the back of this book. I've got not the whole series but I've got a few of them and I've kept them for my own library when I become a teacher because I think they're really good for the older kids. Arcane, Raelia, Dracor and Greyvale. Then I have Bridgerton. It's got water on it too. Then I have The Viscount Who Loved Me. I've read the first four books in the Bridgerton series so I can't wait to read the next four. I'm trying to own them physically so at the moment I only have the Viscount. I did have originally Bridgerton, like the first book, the, Brid the Duke and I, but I don't know where it's gone, so I may have to repurchase it. But yeah, and then I have my Fifty Shades of Grey series, Being Jimmy Baxter by Fiona Lloyd. This is actually, fun fact, Jack's mum's book. She is a kids author and embarrassingly have not read it yet. I have it on my list to do, but I am so excited to read it and I have read a few proofs of it. Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. One Dark Window by Rachel Gillett. The Invisible Life of Ali the Rue. I honestly don't know if I'll ever get to reading this book. I think I've surpassed the time to read it for myself. We'll see what happens. Have 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Yaris, which is going to go with my potentially. Oh, no, I don't know yet. I don't know if, whether I want to put this with her Iron Flame and Fourth Wing book or I put it separately because I kind of want to keep fantasy, romance, and all that together. And then I have Love, that Love at First Spite by Anna Collins. So I have quite a pile. What I'm going to do first is get rid of what I've got on the floor and put them in the bookshelves and then we'll go from there. I know for certain, oh you cannot see that shelf, I know for certain I'm going to put my Magnolia Parks here. I'm going to display them like so, for that order, Ooh. but I'm going to display them like that for now I think. Then we have my other blessings. Oh, wrong order. Sarah J Maths is going to have to go over here on that shelf with all the books that are currently on it. Oh, oh my god, I got more Lucy School. I forgot to tell you. In America, I got four books. Two of them were new Lucy School books. I got Forever Never and By Thread. So these are going right on my shelf, as you can see. I do want to collect all her books. So I think what I want to do is do that series like that for the moment. And then I can just like fiddle faddle with it as I get more of her book and then maybe even just like put my burger there potentially we'll just leave it there for the moment this is my jelly cat that I got from America it's a hamburger if you don't know anything about me know that I love burgers they're my favorite food um and this is Hammy Hammy the hamburger the other two books I got was The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Maria Zapata, Mariana Zapata I have another one of her books have I read any of her books yet no did I love the cover and the synopsis absolutely then I got a special edition of Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Beautiful, stunning. How do I want to like order this? I am fully aware I'm missing one of the Throne of Glass books. They're somewhere. I will figure it out. Stress. And I have already pre-tabbed my books. Then we want to do Akita series. 
how does that look because i feel like these are too tall i think i might leave them like that for now and then i'm gonna fiddle faddle i don't need to like wait too long let's just let's just go with that for now i might move miss sarah j mastered the top shelf That makes me feel better. And then I can put, oh, I've got a special edition of fourth wing somewhere. Put iron flame for there. We'll go there for now. What do we think, guys? That cute? It's that cute so far? Because I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. I'll start a romance shelf here, I think. I'd rather just chuck and come back. But at the moment, I just need to get them off the floor. This is not the final product. If this was the final product, I think I would cry. I'm just going to put you there for a second. The floor's looking a lot cleaner. So let's let's get more books out, shall we? <sighs> I'm going to take a deep breath and stick books on it and hope to God she comes back alive. Oh my God. Why are they all getting damaged? So we just had Daisy Hates, which is the first book. Second book in the Magnolia Parks universe. First book of Daisy Hates. I have The Housemaid by Freddie McFannon, From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata, again got some damage, Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark, Hooked by Emily McIntyre, Powerless by Lauren Roberts, A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik, A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole, Fine Print by Lauren Asher. God! <gasps> no! My books got mold. So many of them got water damaged. All damaged. What about how? Okay, no, but that one made me really want to cry because they don't. These are the good covers. Then I have Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Oh, we have my. Oh! oh! Look at this one! How's it that serious? <laughs> I was so excited to put them all together. Um, guys? <laughs> Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole. Love Light Farms by BK Morrison. Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. Housemaid's Secret by Frieda McFadden, which I read on my trip. And then the rest, or not the rest, another one of the Vampire Academy series. We have Terms and Conditions, and we also have the final offer. So that series is all together as well. Well, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. Then we have The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley, The Midwife Secret by Emily Gunnis, The Seven Year Slip and The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston, The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake, The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, Final Empire by Fan Brandon Sanderson, which is the first book in the Mistborn series. I have Crazy Rich Girlfriend and Somewhere Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I have have The Maidens by Alex McMichaelides, which I also have his Silent Patient somewhere. I have The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Thought oh, there's a Crazy Rich Asians book. We have The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth. Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. The Miseducation of Evie Hepworth. Epworth, sorry, by Matt. Matson Taylor and then the Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. 5050 by Steve Kavanagh. The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, which is part of the Cruel Print series. Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. Powerless and Heartless. We have Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. Flawless by Elsie Silva. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini. The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George, Made by Stephanie Land, Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I'm definitely missing a box of books, but again, I'm going to start with these ones. I think I'm just going to put these ones on in a time-lapse form and then I'll get back to you. have all of my non-fiction memoir books so I'm going to put them here somewhere not too sure I sort of want to keep the dark theme going up there so I may put some of my thriller books there I'm going to try and fit my off-campus series in these cubicles cubicles cubes don't know how we're gonna go. That's in the wrong order. 
That's that. Oh, what's that? That looks silly. Okay. That works. Oh, Twilight. And then New Moon. I always get them mixed up. missing books and it's severely concerning to me. I just finished reading Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Gave this book a three stars. It wasn't anything miraculous but it was just so cute and wholesome. But I love the cover so I want to like display the cover. I think I'm going to have like a cowboy romance shelf. I need a Lauren Asher shelf. I might move that down on one. Guys this is stressing me out. Anna Green Grables. That's the other one I can put up. And Harry Potter. I might put Harry Potter there. Don't panic guys. I found the rest of my cruel print series. Thank you for your concern. My question is do I choose to just I might display that. How can you not? Like that is just a stunning colour. I'm gonna have to move this down on one shelf again because I have my Anna Green Gable series and they give like rural nostalgia, romance, independence, finding yourself kind of thing, which kind of goes with my cowboy theme. So I think if I keep it going, this is giving like bus, club, another club, another club, no sleep. So I think I'm going to put them down a rack. And they're not like the nicest covers, but I did collect them before they got the new covers. So I got to keep them now. Radio. Oh, I think I did this in a way that I... That's going to piss me off. So I remember I used them as stands. Oh, I won't have the room to do that. How does that look on camera? What do you guys think? Does that look okay? Does it look weird? I think I'm trying to display something that's really not there, but I'll leave it for now. I'll be back. So, I went out to the shops and I said to you guys I was going to get new Binding and Keeping 13 books because both of them have mould. There's just no saving them, unfortunately. But I also decided to treat myself and get another book. Did I just get a book? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But I'm not... We, we don't need to judge it and there's no judgment it's a no judgment zone all right first two books i got was hopeless and reckless by elsie silva have i read any of the series no do i now own the entire series yes yes i do do i love the covers yes colors beautiful stunning i just needed to finish the collection then i obviously got binding and keeping 13 they were the last two in big w so i felt really chuffed about that and the final one i got was matthew perry's memoir i wanted to know there's a foreword by lisa kudru K kudru i don't know how to pronounce it which if you don't know her by her na actual name that's phoebe from friends i got matthew perry's memoir i wanted to read this even before he passed away but i haven't it was only in qbd and it was a lot of money like it was like 30 bucks <laughs> i can't justify it at the moment and i was going to get an america but again currency rate didn't do it so we're in a big w and i had a ten dollar ten dollars off my rewards card so i was like okay i can justify this so i bought it i'm very excited to read it am i devastated now that i have to read it that now this man's passed absolutely it's gonna hit like a, a ton of bricks and i'm now i'm gonna cry um because i love this man so much and I have so much respect for him. So, what are the plans right now? It is now 20 past 5. I, I see you. I'm not ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you. I'm not, no. It's now 20 past 5. And I'm going to time lapse me. I've got like half a battery left on my phone. So I'm going to... My phone, my camera. So I'm going to time lapse as much as I can of this. And then I will show you the finished product. Once it is all done, I will quickly also run through the books in my collection that I haven't shared with you guys. Because there's a few that I've pulled out that I haven't shared with you. But then I'll do my time lapse. The Perfect Wife by J.P. Delaney. I Give My Marriage a Year by Holly Wainwright. Wainwright? Wainwright. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. The Mother-in-Law by Sally Hepworth. And My Oxford Year by Julia Whelan. The Beekeeper's Secret by Josephine moon the wildfire by hannah grace and when in rome by sarah adams happy place by emily henry the gun call by stephen rowley the road trip by beth o'leary me and you on vacation by emily henry addicted to you by krista and becca ritchie the no show by beth o'leary and book lovers by emily henry so that is all of them
Or movie, excuse me, where it's got to all the time. And then on their own. Why would it be to spend a lot of rewards? Sorry, and pretty much guys to We have made it summer. This is a movie. And we also have some. Also, I want to mention films of 2023 on Sky. Brady was one of the best films I saw this cozy ever. Still old to like experience amazing things in life. It was a company to saw Elvis this year. That was always that. We have a man who loved that. So, as always, check out the just to remember. I'm just going to say it on my phone for having me again. So we can do our annual thing. Oh, Actually, doesn't look. Do you want to hear something? Oh, they were a man. Do you want to do this? Yeah, I'll do it. 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 Yeah, I
this color green was very hard to blend in with the book so I thought if I keep those together because they are blue and green and switch them it will blend better and it did thank god then we continue down into the oranges and reds and pinks and then it was so nice for the fact of my wildfire and icebreaker books were different colors so that I could face them both out because I adore the covers I think they're really really pretty so I was very happy that I could display them and I could display one in the purple one in the pink it just really just hits the spot for me and then down the bottom as you can see I have my yellows and my oranges and one blue book which just kind of is there because I have a few books that I haven't actually found a place for yet and I just cannot be bothered to go and reorganize it again that's the only downside to a colored shelf is when you get a new book if it's not a series or something like in a different section of your bookshelf you've got to go and rearrange this and I'm just I don't have the energy to do that yet back up the top. We now have my Divine Rivals book. I was lending this to my nan so she returned that. So Ruthless Vows will go next to that and then kind of see what else goes there in the end. I know one company that does special editions of books is doing a Divine and Ruthless Vow edition and when you put them together it kind of makes a whole front scene. So if I can get my hands on those that will, that will be going there. Um, but we'll see how we go. Then I have my Harry Potter collection. I kept my Deathly Hallows book facing out. I really love this series. Fun fact, these are my mum's books, so these are very sentimental to me. She lost <laughs> the Deathly Hallows original cover, so I picked this up at the Lifeline Book Fair. Then we move down to my Lauren Asher slash Chloe Walsh shelf. If I'm being deadly honest at the moment, Lauren Asher isn't like a top pick author for me, but I really like the looks of her covers and I want to keep series together kind of thing so I've put them with Chloe Walsh for the moment just because I feel like it just blends well but we'll see how we go see if that changes or not I'm currently reading Redeeming Six. <laughs> oh my god and I cannot wait to put Taming Six there so I think once I get Taming Six Taming Seven not Taming Six I will have to move Lauren Asher somewhere else but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. On my bottom rack we have my Anne of Green Gables series. These are the original covers. I got them from the Lifeline Book Fair. If you are looking for old or original, not original covers, but like old covers that are, are not sold in bookstores anymore, I would highly recommend going to your secondhand bookstore or like Lifeline Book Fair. They're huge. There's an abundance of books. These were not the only Anna Green Gables books. There were so many of them. So I'd highly recommend going and getting them there if you are looking for them. But Anna Green Gables has my heart. I watch all the movies. I adore them so much. So I really want to read the books um, at some point, but I just wanted them on my bookshelf because uh, how, how can I not, you know? Then below them, I have all of my L. Kennedy series. I have the Off Campus series and I have the Briar U series. I have read the first three books in the Off Campus series. I've got two more and then obviously got to read the rest of that series. So you best oh my god you best believe there will be a new series coming to my channel next year which i will explain more in the first video because <laughs> as you can see i have a collection i have a collection coming around the bend at the moment then the bottom shelf is kind of like my general fiction more historical fiction all of the above kind of shelf so i have things like tomorrow and tomorrow tomorrow to lessons in chemistry to where the crawdads sing I've got some poetry in there um, but i just want to keep these kind of books together because they didn't really have a necessarily a spot in romance or fantasy or thriller or anything like that so I thought keeping them together makes the most sense. Sorry I was aerating my bags. Whilst I'm also down here I will just share with you guys these two shelves before I go all the way up. So on the bottom shelf are my non-fiction memoir biography kind of books and I'm obsessed with this kind of genre. I really really thoroughly enjoy reading about other people's lives what they went through because a lot of the time it can be quite motivational quite eye-opening and I think it's the kind of one of the best ways to learn about different aspects of the world like for example Jeanette McCurdy really opened my eyes to the kind of Disney Channel the franchise you know young actresses kids in the acting business like I knew it wasn't all ethical but to see it from 
a actual child actor's perspective was really really eye-opening and I highly recommend reading that one. I've got a lot of teaching books in here like Educated by Tara Westover is one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, I absolutely adore it. I would highly recommend it to anyone really. Uh, again I have a lot of teaching books just because I feel like reading other teachers perspectives can be quite eye-opening and really a great way to learn more about the field that I'm going to be working in. Then above that I have all my Colleen Hoover books. Now as I explained in a previous clip Colleen Hoover got me back into reading. If you are a beginner reader and you're looking for something to read, I would recommend Colleen Hoover. They're quick, easy reads. They're easy to understand and get through. Obviously, check trigger warnings because some of these books that she does write, they can be very triggering. So I would check the topics before reading each book. But yeah, if you're looking for somewhere to begin, I would recommend them. I know a lot of people bash Colleen Hoover, but I would say that it is definitely a starting point and I would recommend reading it. Above the Colleen Hoover shelf, we have the Elsie Silver series, which... I actually can't remember the name of the series, but I have all of the books. Look, now I'm very good with my, my books. I usually don't buy whole series unless A, I've read the first book in the series and I know I want to continue it, or B, I'm far into it so I just get the rest of them. Um, but I never get them if I haven't read them. But these covers are just something else. So they've slowly come into Big W, so I just picked them up as I did because genuinely my number one problem is when I want to read the book and I go get it, it's never in stock. I just like, let me just have it on my shelf and then I don't have to worry about it. Then we have Done and Dusted next to it, which again is another cowboy romance series that I am really enjoying at the moment. The next book comes out next year, so I'm going to obviously put that there next to it. Going back up, we then have all of my Lucy Score books that I own at the moment. Lucy Score is my go-to author, one of them. I just, anything she writes, I will read. So once I've read this series, which I did, I really wanted to enter more of her books. So that is what I'm planning on doing. This is a series, this is a standalone, and that is also a standalone. So <laughs> I think Lucy Score is going to have to either go over two shelves or we're going to have to deal with that because there's no way I'm going to fit all of her books. She ate, she loves to write big books and she's got a lot of them. So we'll see how we go with that one. Then moving up, obviously, I have my Magnolia Parks books on display. Magnolia Parks says it hates. I have all four of the original covers. She's just announced the fifth cover reveal. I'm not a big fan of it, but obviously I still get it. And the colour of the binding is very pretty. It's like a cream colour. So I'm really excited to add that to my collection. I've read the first two, but I haven't got to the second two yet. We'll get there next year. Then up the top, I have the Eden series. Again, this was a gift from Christmas from Jack. They all came out in Big W. I just wanted to have it so that when I wanted to read it, I just can pick the next one off my shelf and not worry about it. So that was kind of my concept behind that one. This angle's a little bit different because I could not get the lighting to pick up these books on this shelf because my window is right there. So apologies for the up close and personal. These are my Becca Mac books. They, you guys, they're just stunning. The watercolor is beautiful like absolutely beautiful if i love this series it's just going to be a cherry on top for me like this is just stunning and then down below is a five star series for me <laughs> i have all the bridgerton books in the series now i even have happily ever after which i bought using a qbd gift card that i got it is stunning i love the front cover of it this book is kind of like an epilogue to all the siblings. I have read the first four books in the series and I plan to read the next four next year and have this completely done. It's just a five star series for me. I love the TV shows. I love the books. I don't know what else to tell you. I just freaking love it to bits. So this is my entire collection thus far. As you can see, I do have quite a bit of shelf space still left over and I've obviously spread out a few of my books to make the shelves not look as empty. I am very, very, very excited to film all my TBR videos, my wrap-ups here, all my book videos. Like, this background is just so, so lovely and I'm so excited and I have been looking forward to this all year to be able to film my videos like this. So, look out for future videos but I hope you'll enjoy this organisational video. I really enjoyed filming and editing it for you, sharing you with you all my books slash kind of how I wanted to organize them but yeah I will talk to you all in my next video very very soon bye guys